quite a lot. So that is enough awkward shots there. So this is the reference picture that I'll be going by. It is in fact my own reference picture. I came up with this look a few days ago and since prom is technically coming up, I decided I would you know, give it a try because I haven't actually ever done a prom makeup look before. So, slicking away some of the excess away because I've obviously already got my base done, son, obviously. So now going over to Face Shadow Insurance from NT or Nikki Tutorials, I'm then going to be using my Real Next brush to blend that in. Ah, uh, what else Once all that has been blended in, I am going over with my BYS Translucent Palette and my Flawless Finish Sponge. And then for the start of the shawl, which is the Peach Palette of course, I am taking this particular shade as my transition. I don't know any of the shade names off my heart to save our life, so if you know the shade names, then awesome, but otherwise for this whole video, it's just going to be an endless stream of this shade, or this particular shade, and I got mail. <laughs> So taking this particular shade, yeah it's already got annoying, I'm focusing this into my outer V as you can obviously see. And then going in with this particular shade and putting that in the exact same spot but then also dragging it into the um, upper inner part of my crease if that makes any sense. Well this shade anyway, I also tried with this brush but it wasn't getting far so I tried with the other end and I got a little bit further. So it's one of the create as much depth to the outer V as possible and then I started dragging it into the upper inner V of my eye as I'm doing right now. So now going in with my concealers and I purposely edited those clips like that. I am taking a flat shadow brush from Kylie Cosmetics, obviously. Um, and of course cutting my crease with it, like I just said. This concealer is specifically meant for um, blemish control or making them vanish, like Harry Potter is so good at doing. But um, it also does work out really well for um, cutting the crease, like I'm doing right now. So I'm just basically cutting my crease and then smearing the concealer all across my lid. And then using my finger just to pat it in so it's a bit more transparent at the edges. Then taking this, um, the, the brightest shade that the palette has. Just casually patting that all over my lid. So I'm also using the exact same brush that I cut my crease with in the first place just to pat it all on. So now taking this purple shade and then slightly darker shade below it. And I'm going to be just adding a little bit more depth just above the crease just to make it a little bit more obvious. Now going in with my pastel gloss palette and taking the shade Loom only because the green in the um, peach palette is a pain in the ass, it does not show up to save a life. So I'm just using Loom instead but let's just pretend I use the green in the peach palette. <laughs> I also am bringing it out on my outer um, lower lash line. And the same with the other side, duh. So then I'm going to be taking this off-white milky shade and just put it into a brow and highlight but I will go with a proper highlight shade in just a moment. Until then I am taking this glitter liner from Shi Shi to rip through it like a regular wing but then also drag it across my upper crease and sort of bring it in unison with my already existing crease just for like a bit of an extravagant eyeliner thing going on because every single makeup look ever has had a little bit of glitter in it so that's my take on the glitter part. So now I'm sticking on some false lashes into my real lashes. This one's a Katy Perry and I Know It Oh Honey. I could not find my Benefit Real Lash anywhere so I'm going in with this below the line brand uh, called Love or something like that. It's in my kids makeup challenge video. Just coating both my lashes top and bottom. Ah, uh, well, The lip shade wasn't really decided for so I just went in with this mauvey brown tone which did work out really well for the actual look but I decided just to take some of the white in the same palette. This is from uh, ABH Lip Pro Palette. I just put some white with the actual lip shade just to lighten up a bit and it actually worked out really well. I mean this colour was gorgeous on its own but I just decided to add some more white to it just to give it a bit more of a nude look that you can of course go in with any other liquid lips that you have. So now I am obviously taking NT's Champagne Truffle onto the main points that you normally highlight including my brow bone, the nose tip and nose bridge and my cupid's bow. So then I took a little bit of sugar coated, made that a lot of bit of sugar coated for an inner corner highlight. So then obviously fixed spraying my face in place to make sure my makeup doesn't go anywhere. You know, for the duration of editing this, we don't want my makeup to slip off while I'm editing this, that'll be the worst thing ever. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching, I do really hope you enjoyed this take on a prom look. Basically very natural, and very soft and subtle, but with a bit of glitter. So thank you all so much for watching, I'll tell you to see you for all my future videos. Ciao!